In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert the particle effects from the sci-fi effects from Forge 3D into something you can use very easily with projectile power. Keep in mind that I will have already converted these for you, so you really don't have to go through this process. But if you do want to set up these particles, or if you're setting up other particles that have similar issues as these ones do, then you might want to follow along and learn how you might be able to use some of the scripts I've created in order to convert these to something that's much more flexible and modular. All right, so this is the demo scene for the package, and it's obviously very cool. We've got some really cool effects here, and I'm sure we all want to use these in our own projects. When we look at the turret, we find these scripts that are very, very, very opinionated. They're heavily coupled together, and it's set up in such a way that you really can't use these out of the box. You can't just drag and drop a turret into your game and press play unless you want to use all of the features, including the object pooling and every other feature that they have, essentially you need to start from scratch. So you're welcome to do that for your own system, but if you're using projectile power, then you probably just want an object you can drag onto a spawner, hit the fire button, and have that projectile spawn. So we're going to set up this plasma gun. Before I leave out of this, I'm going to come over here to the main. This is where they keep an audio controller, which holds the audio for every single... <laughs> every single weapon in their system here. So we're going to copy this. I'm just going to take a screenshot so that I remember what audio clips from the package they use. They have great audio clips, uh, and I'd like to use the same ones, but they aren't coupled to the projectile themselves right now. They're just separate in this script, and we have to kind of copy them over. So let's go back into projectile power into the demo scene for Forge 3D sci-fi assets. So here's the first projectile, the solo gun, and we see we have a basic projectile on them and this Raycast hit detector as well. So let's find the object in their scene. So this looks to be like the got hit. In fact, I'm gonna name, rename these entirely. So I'm gonna save the impact as an original prefab as well as the muzzle. And for the plasma gun, we're gonna save that, save that as a projectile. So let's quickly just set up the impact and the muzzle. These are gonna be spawned either on impact or when we fire the object. For this one, it's just a very traditional particle effect. So that's really nice. We're going to add the destroy, uh, the projectile power destroy. And we're just gonna destroy in say 1.2 seconds. I think that that should be sufficient enough. Um, we're also going to trigger when the pr projectile is set. That basically is going to be on awake. The projectile power destroy is also going to work with the pooling system. So if you're using the pooling system on your projectile, it will pool this. If you're not, it won't pool it. So this will work either way. Uh, up to you if you want to use it. and You don't have to do any other additional setup on this. It's going to apply that, and we will turn this object off. All right, looking at the muzzle, we do indeed have, have a quad. So I'm going to add the same power destroy here. Um, and we're going to leave this on for a little bit longer. We'll just keep it to five set seconds. And then on the two quads, uh, we want to disable these. So these are going to be the actual little flash. So I'm going to put both of these into here. And then we're going to keep this re-enable on enable. So that way, when we bring it back from being pooled, these are going to be re-enabled. We want that so they continue to flash after being ba uh, brought back from the pool. And for the point light, we're going to just add this fade light. This is a script from Infinity VBR. Uh, we'll bring this over. It fades over the desired amount of time uh, using this curve. So it doesn't have to fade linearly. You can you can make it go up, down, whatever you want. Uh, and then it fades on enable as an option as well. So let's go ahead and apply those overrides and we'll turn this object off as well. All right, so now let's look at the plasma gun itself. We're gonna need a projectile. I'm going to just copy the basic projectile from the existing one. And we'll paste that as new. And I'm also going to copy the Raycast hit detector. These projectiles move so fast that there's a good chance a collider will go through any object. So we're going to use a Raycast to check the hit instead. And the Raycast is going to be 110% of the speed, the, the distance that, that the uh, object is traveling each frame. On hit, we're going to have it disable. We can draw a debug line as an option. Uh, we'll turn that off for this. Uh, and then we can also apply some force on impact. Uh, optionally, we're just going to keep it at five to match what we had for the other one. So we're good for the raycast hit dis detector. When when this does detect a raycast, it's going to 
call the it's going to call the trigger collision with object method on the projectile itself passing in what we hit and the point at which we hit and that's going to enable all the other behaviors on the projectile to to handle that event so for the basic projectile we're currently using this really fast projectile object data uh, machine gun turret and the solo gun muzzle for the for some additional behavior modifications so we're going to copy this and we're going to call this plasma gun muzzle this is a create object at spawn position um, it's a modification to the spawn and all it does is place an object and so we're going to place our new plasma gun muzzle we're going to parent it to the position that it spawns at so it's going to be spawning at one of these two barrels, it's going to parent to that and it's going to uh, face forward to the, the spawn positions forward. So it's just going to shoot out from the barrel. I'm just going to select that as our new behavior modification. The behavior modifications happen right after the spawn behavior before any other events are called. Um, we can keep the move forward. Sci-fi effects solo gun hit is something we're going to have to change and the destroy on trigger collision will will keep that as it is too. This one, again, we're gonna make a, a copy of this. This is going to be for the plasma gun. And when it hits, um, we are going to change our particle out to our plasma gun impact. And I did forget to add a couple things. So we need to add a play audio clip on awake here. We're gonna copy over these audio clips that we took a screenshot of. So this will happen when the impact particle hits. We have four options in the package here. So weapon blaster one. This will randomly choose one of them. It's a nice touch to get some variety into the game so you don't hear the exact same sound over and over. Since we copied this over, we already have the collision mask and everything else set up. So we should be able to leave it as this. We're going to apply this override. And go to our turret here and we'll bring the plasma gun here as our second weapon turn these off and press play so in the demo scene i'll press tab and now we have the so now we've got the plasma gun working and shooting and firing just fine now you can see it's actually kind of moving fairly slow and it looks like it's it's removing itself pretty soon so now that we have it set up with the projectile power, we can actually play with this a little bit and make this uh, particle move a little bit differently. So we're going to change it to do to do this basic projectile data. And if we look at this, the, the speed here is 10. The really fast one, the speed was 40. So it's going to move a lot slower now. And all we had to do to change that is just change this data out. Everything else, the movement behavior is going to is going to take in that information. Now, if you are using if you are using other methods to move it, you are more than welcome to do that. You don't have to use the features here. You can still move it in another way if that's what you'd like to do. All right, so now this is uh, moving towards the target. It's moving slower. And we're moving so slow now that I don't think we really need this Raycast hit detector. So I'm gonna turn it off for now. And we're gonna add a sphere collider. So let's go ahead and press play. All right, so now we're moving much slower and we are able to collide more easily with the objects. And so we're getting a much more close collision rather than using the ray cast method. So I've added this home in on target with an offset of 0.5. Why? This is a movement behavior that gives us the option to rotate towards the target that's attached to the projectile. If the projectile, which is live and moving around, gets a new target, it will rotate towards that as well. We have an offset here of 0.5, and we add that right there, so that it's going to look a little bit above rather than you know at the ground if that's where the target position really is, like right at the ground. Um, we can draw a debug line if we if we want, and we are should be all good there. Just let me override or apply the overrides. We'll press play. There we go. And so now these projectiles are moving towards the bad guy there. There we go. So now we've basically been able to convert the Forge 3D projectiles into a system that's far more modular, way more customizable. Uh, and of course, you can now, of course, you can now use other particles as well. These are particles from Realistic Effects Pack 4. So you're much more easily able to mix and match projectiles from many different systems and customize things to better suit your need.
Now, while I'm making this video, I'm still in development on the project. So some of these things that you've noticed might change between now and release. But if you have any questions, come to the Discord. The package will ship with a lot of integrations to popular particle packages on the asset store, including the Forge 3D sci-fi effects package. All of these that I'm making, you can just drag and drop. You'll be able to drag any of these projectiles onto your projectiles of your projectile spawner and things will just work. Just call the launch button call launch on the spawner and it will just work. Everything will be very magical. So if you have any questions, come to the discord and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.